Okay, so my attempt here is to try and figure out what in the world is still wrong with the car. Um, I have replaced the oil, lower oil hose, drain hose. Um, I've cleaned the ICV and the, um, the intake, um, shoot, what's it called? The uh, throttle body, sorry. And um, I've also checked for vacuum leaks. I've replaced a couple of hoses uh, that look like they may be old or cracking. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I did fix the vacuum leaks. I did have a P1192 code that, that did go away. As you can see, the check engine lights off, and the car is very cold. Um, so the key is, uh, it starts off just fine. As you can hear, uh, it seems the idle just fine. I was a little high, you know, in the very beginning, but then it goes down, it settles in. Um, there at all. Uh, the problem is, once I actually get going here, I'm gonna try and keep the camera focused the best I can. Um, as I'm driving here, and I gotta pay attention to the road. What you're gonna hear, listen very carefully, is this. So I'm not sure how much of the hesitation you can really hear or tell, but there's this, this jumpiness um, when it's very cold. It doesn't wanna actually uh, accelerate smoothly, which evens out when it gets warm. So. I'm trying to figure out what that could be if it's the vacuum leak. Listen again. Now I'm pressing smooth on the accelerator as you can hear it kind of dip and jump and, and uh, uh, go from accelerating smooth to you know kind of dropping down in RPMs and I'm focusing on the RPM gauge so you can actually see that section of it. I'm going to give it one more um, just kind of from zero to going and again you can see it idles fine. was a good bit. And one last time as I'm going uphill here. I was not going to do it again, of course. But anyway, without making this uh, video too lengthy, I'll do it one more time on this little straightaway here, and then that'll be it. So I'd really appreciate any help here again so from uh, from start position see that big jump right there there you can hear it a lot right there and once it gets into higher speeds it tends to go pretty smooth so there you go and uh, hopefully you guys can help me out. I really appreciate it. You've been a huge help so far. Thank you, E46 Fanatics.